It has been a while, but welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. So, I actually do remember where we last were, even though it was over a week ago. We're in the Ancient Basin, which is like the black and white caverns. And it's very beautiful. So, let's just dive on in. Do I remember the controls, though? That's the real question. I, this area is so beautiful. Okay, I, I came from... I think I came from the left, actually, didn't I? I want to say I came from the left. Don't remember that exactly, but oh well. We'll find out sooner or later. Ow, what hit? Oh. He blended in with the wall so well. That was <laughs> that was good, Perry the Platypus. I'll give you that one. <laughs> oh, that's right. No music. Okay, yeah, I already did buy them. Well, I had to have bought them. I literally just looked at the map two seconds ago. Oh, yeah, in the last stream we did talk about romance a lot. Romance a lot? More like Lance a lot. Wait, there's a map that says you can go down through the spikes there. Maybe? Oh, wait, no, you can go down through here. <laughs> Yeah, from what I've seen, this game does have a very similar art style to Ori and the Blind Forest. Another great-looking game. Ooh, secret place? No, but... but It looked like there was a secret place. Guess not. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. But what if I want to enter it? Boom! Maybe it's for the best that we don't open that door. Plus, I don't think I can. Also, I believe I've heard the music. Well... I know there's a song in this game called Broken Vessel, because I've listened to it. And it, it is great. It sounds very unsettling. Well, that is Hollow Knight. It does have a slightly eerie atmosphere. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. So that sometimes that can happen. I always forget the button for doing the Super Grover dash. It's the opposite button of the actual dash button, which good. Yeah, I've been over here before. We. Right, so that leads to nowhere. Yes, you general as a rule of thumb for life, don't bring up things that people don't want to be reminded of. That that is a good rule of thumb. My neck. Wait, no. Uh -huh. Hi, let's be friends. Wait, I've been down here before. Hmm. That's right, I went down here and there's only one way out, so great. <laughs> I is being stupid. Oh yeah, it's this guy. <laughs> we have fun. Wasn't there a boss that throttled me? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I'm. Pr Ow, my bottom. I think I perfectly beat all the bosses in the game. I don't think there are any bosses left in the game. Like a boss. Okay, look. I know... <laughs> I know I was being a little egotistical, but that was still a bit on the rude side. 
Hi. Uh, want to be friends? Oh. A simple key. Man, why did I buy this from the store? I didn't know I could just grab simple keys lying out of, out of nowhere. Okay, well... Let's uh, heal up, heal up! <laughs> ah, thank you, that's delicious. No, oh, Hollow Knight is not almost done. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know for sure. Because, again, first time playing. But my older brother and I actually had a brief discussion just on what I've played thus far. It sounds like there's at least another world or two I haven't been to. He didn't spoil anything. He basically just mentioned how long that it took him to beat the game. So who knows, maybe he's just really bad at the game, and I'll beat it faster. Yeah, I said all the bosses were defeated, but I was... I was at least tr definitely trying to be sarcastic. If it didn't come off across, then, well, I need to work on being more sarcastic. I don't know why I turned up the volume if the game wasn't even going to give me any good music. Ah, this is a new way. This is the way. Oh! That's a little sad. Oh. The door just closed. Oh no, not the goo monster. I think I'll just preemptively heal up. Broken vessel! Seems like every time I hit him, he does something in retaliation. So I think this is going to be a fight where using the charge hits are actually is actually going to be useful. Oh wow, that's fancy! Oh no, I died. That's okay. Death happens to all of us. Plus, he's pretty close by. Ow! <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Did I open the shortcut? Uh, I'm pretty sure I just don't fall down the pit. Yeah, I just don't fall down the pit this time. And we good. That's not how we say hello where I'm from. But I'll accept it. Okay. This guy's a lot harder than Ballerina Lady. Whatever her name was. Wow! Okay, he doesn't give you a whole lot of opportunities to, uh, take a break. This is gonna be a challenge. <laughs> Hello, Brother Jello. <laughs> take this candelabra to Mother George. Thank goodness the, uh, your shadow is outside the boss fight. That was nice of him. Alright, well, this is gonna probably take most of the stream. Actually, I'm not sure if the charge shots are gonna be worth it. Okay. Okay, if he lunges back like that, it means he's going to do a dash forwards. Oh man, that felt just like Star Wars right there. That was great.
I have no idea how much more damage the charge hit does, but it's certainly not going to be doing less damage. Ow. Ouch. Ow. You cannot dash out of... You cannot dash after you start healing. Like, if you stop healing, then there's like a two-second period where you just can't dash, which is very obnoxious. Dirt Wars. <laughs> That's not... That doesn't have as much... It's not as catchy as Star Wars. It's like people aren't liking the direction Star Wars is going in these days, so we're making a new series, Dirt Wars. It's like, what? <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see that. All right, I'm at least getting his pattern down. Hey, I still like Star Wars. This is definitely a good psalm. Ow, he just spawned on top of me. That's not allowed. I thought I attacked him. Okay, cool. There's no way that's it. There's no way that's the whole fight. Yeah, the door didn't open yet. He has a second phase. I'm sure of it. Maybe not. After the last fight against Super Duper Teleporty McGee, that, that fight was... I'm not going to say a joke, because I died to it a bunch, but that was significantly less difficult. I bet you if I come back that way, he's going to come back to life and be like, Aha! You thought uh, you killed me, but uh, no! <laughs> it was me, Dio, all along. Ooh, pretty soul power. Maybe I'm just... Consume the Monarch Wings. Press B while in the air to flap the wings. Oh! So it's like a double jump. Ha-ha! Maybe I'm just used to Cuphead, where every boss fight in the entire game has like is like a minimum of three or four phases. Double jump! <laughs> the double jump brigade! Uh, oh yeah, Mother's... Oh, pff, you don't need to tell me that. May is the month where Artie's family has all their celebrations, basically. There's Mother's Day, there's my sister's birthday, there's my grandma's birthday, there's my nephew's birthday, there's my sister-in-law's birthday, there's, like, my parents' anniversary, there's... <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it's there's a lot. Are we back here in the, uh, like, the sacred hall? Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Nailed it. <laughs> Knew it! 
lost kin. This is very, very different from what you fought before. Okay. Okay, he's tougher. He's got faster reflexes. How? Yeah, he's got very fast reflexes. He's also spawning in a lot more of those jello guys. This is okay. This is not good. Ouch. Ouch. I don't have a bench. Oh, hey. I didn't need a bench, apparently. Because why be, why be consistent with the game rules now? Well, I don't want to lose all my Geo, so I do hope that, uh... I do hope my shadow's around here somewhere. Otherwise, that would be a little bit bad. Where's my shadow? He's not in that room. I didn't lose my- Oh, I didn't lose my shadow! The game's changing up on me. Oh god, he's, he's so fast now. It's like you need to have the reflexes of a supercomputer to, to avoid him. Okay, it really does seem like you just can't heal in this fight. Because, like, no matter what you do, if he does a certain move, he'll, he'll, he will hit you while you're trying to heal. Oh, here we go. Now I can heal. How? Just... Yeah, like, he could have done a short hop, or he could have done a long hop. There's not really any way of knowing. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what weird school teacher that would be. Yeah, I know exactly what sound effect you're talking about, too. The problem is, I don't think that's an actual sound effect from the game. I think we just made it up. Yeah, like, you can just, you can just jump to wherever you are or wherever you're moving. There's not really any way to consistently avoid him. Okay, that is... Yeah, this, this fight's annoying. Stuff can just spawn on top of you while you're trying to heal. It's not very funny. Or maybe I'm just missing something and being a dumb stupid head, but, uh, it really feels like you're, it's expecting you to have, like, un inhuman reflexes to react to the stuff he's doing. Not raging, just pointing out the obvious. I don't care if they are his pets, they're being very annoying. Okay, I literally stopped- I released the heal button a full, like, two seconds before he actually hit me, and for all of that time, it would not let me dash away. 
Why can you not dash immediately after healing? It, it does not make any sense to me. Bye. This better be worth it. <laughs> No! Come on! Yeah, it's a real good thing that you don't lose anything when you die. A true gentleman doesn't discuss how many arty bucks they may or may not have. <laughs> Never discuss a man his salary, a woman her age, or people in gen or tw or t people in Twitch chat how many arty bucks they have. <laughs> I think what this guy really needs is he just needs a Snickers. He's getting very angry. Ow. It... No, uh, damn it. Take me back to the spirit realm. I feel. I wish I knew where he was gonna stop when he does the dash. I feel like he could stop anywhere. Never seems to go the full distance across the hall, so that's good. Ouch. <laughs> He is, he is trying so de- We're gonna spend the entire stream on this guy, aren't we? Because the moves that he can do are random, I feel like no matter- you can't react to them because he does them too fast. You have to predict what he's gonna do and hope he does it. It's like, if you hit him and then he does his Okay, this is getting absolutely unfair. Can't heal! You, you freaking can't heal. Even when he's stunned, they'll just spawn an orange guy right on top of you and- Like, if I attack him, he always does a move right afterwards. If he does, like, the dash, you have to instantly jump, otherwise you get hit. But if you jump immediately after he gets hit, and he instead does his jump attack, then you also immediately get hit. It, it feels like it's completely based on luck. He also can do that.
yeah, like, look at that. He just jumped right on top of me. How could I have predicted where he was going to f jump? No, this fight is not hard in a fun way. This is definitely hard in a dumb, frustrating way. I'm sorry that I don't have superhuman reflexes to p accurately predict his every attack. Ouch. Okay, well, that was my, that was my fault. Ow, wait. Um, so it didn't actually spit me back on the platform that I was on. It teleported me to a totally different platform. Okay. Yeah, sure. I, well, here's the thing, though. I can't leave. Oh, I can leave. I thought the gate... Okay, the gate was definitely 100% closed. The gate was 100% closed before I went to that area, so, uh... I don't know what's up with this, but all right. This is big brain. <laughs> now I'm just trying to find an efficient way to reach his stupid room so I don't have to keep jumping on all these platforms every time. Because I'm sure it's going to take me another couple dozen attempts. There we go. That's a fast way. New strategy. We're not even going to bother with healing. We're not even going to bother trying to heal. We're going to use all of our will on the soul attacks. I got him through the first two phases. And well. Again, it's a very good thing I'm not losing any Geo from this. Yeah, I don't love how he's, like, a harder version of the boss that you literally fought two minutes before you actually fight him. How far he travels when he jumps is extremely random, and that is, that's probably my least favorite thing about this fight, because I have no idea if he's going to jump, if he's going to jump barely forward at all, if he's going to jump all the way across the room, or partway across the room. It seems like no matter where how he jumps, he always jumps right to where you are, or where you're heading. Yeah. Gotta focus. It's like, oh, don't you know if you hit him with the Soul Saber, you instantly kill him? That would be very dumb. Yeah, I felt like no matter where I went, he was gonna hit me with that jump.
landed on top of me. Ouch. Nope! Darn it! Ugh. Still alive, apparently. No! Aw, oh, man! I was so close! Well, actually, I have no idea. Maybe that fight has, like, ten phases. I could beat this guy easy. I have no idea what that is. Also, no spoilers. I'm sure. I'm sure the eight. Are you? How come I? Wait. I'm very. How come I like effort? What? How come I effortlessly knocked him out of his first phase really quickly that time? I didn't even hit him with that many times. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, then that's okay. You can absolutely do fake troll posts. If I, yeah, what? That should not have hit me. Ooh, you know what this fight feels like? This fight feels like you're fighting a person who dedicated in, uh, their life to being good at Super Smash Bros. Melee when you're just a casual at Super Smash Bros. Melee. That's that's what this fight feels like. Yeah, we are 40 minutes into this stream, and we are still on this basic boy boss. I know we had technical... Man, I just love it when the wall jumping doesn't work. Geronimo! Yeah, I'm definitely a very much a casual Smash Bros. player, so <laughs> it's kind of annoying to play it online where it's like, oh, these people are spamming moves and doing weird combos. I'm like, how about we play with very high items on? You're picking Banjo? He's low tier. It's like, yeah, but he's fun tier, so I pick him. It's like, uh, there are, there's like a hundred or so characters in this game, why are you only picking one of them? Uh, Shaggy's taking most of this week off. I don't think he's streaming anything until Friday. <laughs> I pick every character except, like, five. There's a small handful of characters I never pick, but I pick pretty much all of the others. I do have my favorites, of course, but... Yeah, that wasn't going to work. 
I would be happy with Hollow Knight being a Smash Bros. fighter, but I feel like he's in a long line of indie characters that would make it in. Whee! At least I've mastered reaching this room now. Yeah, like, look at that! How am I supposed to know he's going to jump all the way across the room as opposed to halfway across the room? Like he did right there. See? There's no way to possibly predict it, and there's no way you can react to it fast enough. And that time I knocked him down three times really quickly. I, I don't understand this fight. Yeah, this is... The, the bosses in this game went from being like, oh, it's tough but totally doable, to like, soul-taintingly difficult. Real fast. It literally feels like it's a fight that you're supposed to use the task in order to be... I hate this fight so much. They, they literally spawned a guy on top of me while I was trying to heal. The game is literally, like, screaming at me to beat this guy now, though. Everything about this guy is specifically designed to kill you. Like, if people can actually beat this guy consistently, like, that's nuts. You must have the brain- like, the- You must have gotten something implanted in your brain to increase your reaction time, because there's no way an average human can react to this guy fast enough. No, he's- well, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm- it would be phenomenally stupid to put a boss in a game that's literally impossible to beat. This guy feels like he should be, like, the brutal bonus boss of the game and not... a regular old boss that you fight right after an easier version of him. I mean, it's just different from Pikmin 2. But, yes, comparable difficulty, for sure. <laughs> Very beatable, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I know you've done all the crazy challenge modes for this, so... He, he's probably not that big of a deal to you, but...
Uh, like, again, how was I supposed to know he would land there as opposed to in the middle? It's a you're screwed no matter what you do situation. I swear he always stops exactly where you are, no matter where you are. Like, if I- I swear if I had dashed to the left there, he would have gone all the way to the left, and I would land right on him. But it's like, oh, are you in the air? Cool, I'll do the air dash into you. Oh, are you dashing to the left on the ground? Cool, I'll jump all the way over to the left, so you'll- no matter where you go, you will hit me. And oh yeah, I hope you don't want to heal during the battle, because that's impossible. Even when you stun the boss, it's impossible, because they'll just spawn an orange goop guy on your head, interrupt you, and then you don't damage the boss, and you don't get to heal. I don't know if there's a strategy to this. I'm going to keep trying. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm not giving up on this guy, but I am equipping a different pin than the Money Magnet one. Because the Money Magnet one's not doing jack squat for that stupid fight. No, do not help me. Do not help me unless I specifically say, Twitch chat, give me advice. Alright. Soul Catcher... That might not even be that good either. We don't need that. I even have the long nail. I don't notice it, though. Don't need the compass. What would be useful for this? That could be nice. Dash Master, nah. Sprint Master, nah. Gain soul when taking damage. I mean, that doesn't really help if I can't heal during the battle. Uh... Let's try that one. When All these are like when taking damage. Hmm. Let's try that. Again, I don't know if the hard shell is actually going to help me heal, but it might. And if it does, that will make a huge difference. Again, 50th time's the charm, right? At least I'm going in with slightly different equipment. doesn't really help me healing, no, but I guess it made it so I didn't take damage while I was healing, so that is nice. I'm gonna try only hitting him once. Instead of, I've been I've been striking at him twice when I think I have an opening. Maybe if I only strike at him once.
And then I strike at him twice. Didn't really do a good job protecting me that time. It's strange. And of course he had... Of course he stopped in midair to hit me, because why wouldn't he? But that actually went better. Okay, I think getting less greedy with the attacks is going to be a key. Oh, <laughs> Forgot, missed up the dash command. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's cheering me on. I appreciate that. I think his downward strike... I was 100% in the air. I think his downward strike is the only time I can really attack him more than once in a row. Okay, it felt like twice during that battle he hit me doing the ground dash when I was way far in the air for him to actually be able to reach me. <laughs> Jafar, Jafar, he's our man. If he can't do it, great! <laughs> like, Artie, didn't you know if you use the jump, double jump during his uh, like the fight, it's a lot easier? Because you got the double jump right beforehand. It could be something dumb like that. <laughs> I swear, I hate this fight. Yeah, I really don't think the uh, oh, it protects you while healing thing is helping me really at all. I attacked him. I don't know what, what you're getting at. I have no idea what Mobius was... Re I don't recognize the Belmont Stakes. <laughs> Hopefully the Belmont Stakes are better than the steak I had tonight. I made steak tonight. It didn't turn out great. But the potatoes were delicious. I, da, 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 da. I can't look at the screen right now! I'm in the middle of a very, very tough boss fight and I am about to die. Whoever you whoever raided me, thank you very much for the raid. I cannot look at the screen right now. This is demanding all of my concentration. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Thank you for the follow, whoever did that. <laughs> no! He always jumps right at the freaking wrong time! I hate this fight so much. Robot King streams, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to... Oh, painful times in Hollow Knight. I hate this boss so much. I am I think I'm going to spend the entire stream trying to beat him, but... Welcome, everybody! <laughs> We're playing Hollow Knight for the first time. We're on... <laughs> we are on the Lost Kin. The fight that has killed me almost 50 times at this point. Cannot, for the life of me, figure out if there is a reliable way of beating him. It feels extremely... I'm gonna say luck based just because I don't have fast enough reaction times for this. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting too greedy! I hate the ricochet. <laughs> yeah. At least the music is amazing. <laughs> Alright, I, I will say I, I don't want people telling me strategies or adv advice for this, because it is my first time playing. I do want to figure things out myself. If I get really, really, really stuck, then I will directly ask people for help. Otherwise, just <laughs> I'm just kind of here to figure things out for my own. <laughs> I've been trying to use my soul launching attack at him, and I got the I equip the pin that, like, protects you while you're using soul to help me heal during the fight. But honestly, I feel like healing during this fight is probably not really viable. Come on. I mean, it definitely helped there. So maybe, maybe it is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it really just feels like no matter what you do, he'll always do the move that is needed to counter what you're doing. Ah, you gave up on the Lost Kim fight? I, I, people have said, suggested, like, hey, maybe you should just come back here after you've gotten some upgrades. Uh, no, I'm extremely stubborn. I'm This guy has killed me so much, I am beating this stupid guy. I don't care if I'm streaming till 1 a.m., I'm beating this guy. I know people do low percent Hollow Knight uh, runs, so it's it is totally possible. But man, everything about this fight seems to be specifically designed to make your life difficult. in the air for that. I... Oh, silly, Artie. Expecting him to play by the rules of the game? Of course not. In a low percent run, you, you wouldn't fight him at all? No way. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, the fact that he can jump literally anywhere on screen, there's no way to see where he's jumping, and he can interrupt his jump at any point to slam the ground. It's... it's just... If you were trying to make a difficult boss, you succeeded, but at what freaking cost? Okay, I was not even close to being near his sword swipe attack. I was literally above him, and he hit me with a horizontal ho sword slash. Excuse me, but that is bogus. Uh, look at this! He is specifically doing all of the worst moves to do just to counteract everything I do. Am I in the air? Cool. He'll launch himself in the air to attack me. Am I on the ground? Cool. He'll launch himself on the ground to attack me. And don't worry, he'll spawn infinite enemies to make sure that you're never going to have a spot to heal safely. Uh, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very much fed up with this fight, everybody. <laughs> 
Which is a shame, because, like, every other boss fight in this game has been pretty awesome. Even the teleporting McGee guy was still... Are you... Did you see how many times he did the ground slash attack in a row just to hit me? Like, you've got, like, eight different moves. You chose the same one, like, eight times in a row. What do you mean I only got to heal once? I definitely was healing for long enough to get two hearts back. Or two masks back. Darn it. I'm... I'm beating this guy before I end the stream. I don't... Like I said, I don't care if I have to stream for five hours. I'm beating this guy. The only way I'm giving up on this guy is if I literally stay up all night, fail to beat him, and have to go to work. And even then, I might call in sick. I can't come to work. I'm sick. Sick of this stupid boss fight! And then as it turns out, my boss is watching my stream, and he's like, uh-huh. Wait, how the heck did I parry that dash? What? What? The more I play this game, the less the physics makes sense. Where did my shield go? Where did my shield go? It wouldn't let me shield it. Hmm. Baldur's shield breaks after four hits? Like, forever or until you find a bench? That severely limits uh, how good it is. I am in the air. You cannot hit me with a ground slash when I'm in the freaking air above your head. Oh, look! He jumped right on my head again! What a shocker! If the shield breaks after four hits, maybe I need to go for the invincibility frame route. None of the pins I have seem to be all that good. It's almost like this guy is unreasonably difficult. Imagine if I'm fighting the brutal bonus boss of the game. 
Like, this is the this is the equivalent of Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts. And it's like, you're not supposed to do this until, like, after you've beaten the game. Don't you love it when the game doesn't let you hit the thing that's on top of you for no reason? I love that. Dun da 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 The fight doesn't hate me specifically, it's just not a very well-designed fight. The broken vessel was the, like, kind of the perfect level of difficulty. Then they're like, what if we took that, but just made it, like, so difficult that no human being could actually consistently beat it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Like, I swear the AI in this fight is reading my controller inputs just to do the move that will mess me up the most. I'm in the air! You freaking can't hit me when I'm in the air, you cheating butt. Oh, look. Jumped in the air, and then of course did the interrupt dash because I was underneath him. No, 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 hang on. There is well-designed hard, and there's poorly designed hard. This leans towards the poorly designed hard. Did I hit him before? <laughs> did I hit him in the cutscene? You know what? You freaking deserve that, you cheating little butt. <laughs> If you can cheat and get hitboxes that are unreasonable, then I can cheat as well. healing, I guess. How much health does this guy have? I knocked him down like four times. Everybody cheats but me. Next time I'll cheat.
forgot about the charge slash. Why did I take damage from me hitting him? Are you kidding me? Yeah, oh, I, I know the over 9,000 meme. That's a good one. He jumped from one end of a football stadium to the other. He can't dash that far, but apparently he can jump that far. Sure. He always jumps on... Always! Always, always, always! Does not matter where you are on the ground, he jumps on you unless you're, like, if... Unless you're ready to dash out of the way. And even then, he might da jump to where you dash. This is definitely a top contender for one of the toughest video game boss fights I've ever faced. If we're excluding, like, Kingdom Hearts bonus bosses. What I want to know is why he, if he does the ground dash, he can hit you when you're above his head and not even close to his sword. That, look, like, right there. I was over his head, he slashed in front of him, and somehow the game thinks that he hit me. Well, he can dash. I, I have no problem with him dashing farther than me. I have a problem with his jumping height and jumping distance being more than his dashing distance. That doesn't seem reasonable.
We're going to do something a little different this time, guys. This time, we enter the boss room in STYLE! <laughs> okay, that was a mistake. Super Grover wants revenge! <laughs> Can you just, like, physically not do anything for five seconds after charging up a soul move? Because it wouldn't let me move, it wouldn't let me jump, it wouldn't let me dash, wouldn't even let me attack. Now, if I take a breather, then I get out of practice. That scream is going to be haunting my nightmares. Not because it's scary, but just because I've heard it so many freaking times. I also want to say, anybody who says that they beat this fight on the first try is lying. I love the five seconds of do nothing that you can do after doing anything. Nope, not stressing me out, just exceedingly frustrating and badly designed. This is way harder than Georg and Morpha. This isn't even comparable. Georg is glitchy, but, like, at least he's doable. Morpha is just annoying, but not, like, difficult. <laughs> now, the Wally Walk for Pikmin 2, now that is a comparable fight. <laughs> just for different reasons. I hate how the gooey guys completely randomly spawn in different locations. 
and they have a tendency to spawn right where it's going to cause you trouble. It's like, oh, one spawn in your way. You can hit them with your sword to make them disappear, but then the ricochet will send you flying back into horn face. Oh, ouch. Ow. Okay, all right. We are not going in with low HP. Not again. <laughs> Maybe this is the final boss. I apologize for the silence, but uh, there's only so many times I can say this boss fight sucks and these mechanics are unfair before uh, people get the picture. Every time I've healed, has he always done that stupid jump lunge? Because it definitely feels like it. Oh, look! The enemy ricocheted me into his glitchy hitbox to kill me! Yay! right on my head! Good lord! I could be anywhere on the room and he'd jump on my head! Yeah, this is definitely in top five worst bosses I've played before. I'm trying to think what other bosses would be up there. This is still not the most rage-induced I've ever been in. Well, again, I'm not even... Tr it's just in it's intense frustration. I guess, yeah, I guess you could count it as rage. Still not as bad as Max Procode Skull from Cage Free, though. That fight I don't even think is possible. This 
See? You dash away from him and it doesn't even matter. He jumps on you. How much HP does this stupid guy have? Felt like that fight was going on for five minutes and I still didn't kill him. Every move he is doing is specifically countering where I currently am. Literally every single one. I honestly think it's these stupid orange guys that are messing up everything. Because because you have to deal with them, it gives him the chances to do all this stupid bullcrap stuff he does. Because it's like, oh, I have to be in the air in order to take out this guy. So he does his jump attack to just run right into me and I can't avoid it because I have to be in the air to kill the orange guy. It, it basically traps you into impossible to escape situations. I actually think I might be rather might rather play Bear Storm at this point. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I actually think Bear Storming might be more fair than this game, which is that's embarrassing, Hollow Knight. Like that's an extraordinarily low bar to go over, and you actually succeeded at it, which is a shame because you were on an absolute roll, and then you just throw this garbage at me. It also helps that your sword just flat out doesn't work sometimes when you want to kill the veins in your way. No, I'm not rage quitting. Did you not hear me earlier? I am beating this guy, this stream, I don't care how long it takes.
Okay, I'm... S Proxima, I'm gonna interrupt you there. If the game does not want me to fight the boss right now, then the game should not put the boss's corpse right in your pathway back to the bench with aura around it screaming, look at me, fight me right the heck now. So if this is supposed to be like a bonus boss you fight at the end of the game, then that is 100% the game's fault for basically screaming you should fight the boss right the heck now. Hey game, how, how about how about you let me attack with my nail when I say attack with the nail? Apparently I parried it. It's just truly amazing how many situations I do something I'm like, well, and as long as he doesn't do this one move, this will work, and then he does that one move. It is more than 50% of the time, which, given his move arsenal, makes me raise an eyebrow. I'm just saying, if you put out a very brutally difficult fight, right out in the open, it's not what you should be doing. If you want to make a brutally hard fight, that's fine. Go for it. But make it abundantly clear you're not supposed to go to that area until later. Like how they do it in Kingdom Hearts. I did not even see that orange guy there. You gotta be kidding me. He jumped in the worst possible place for the 500 billionth time.
Night, Judy X Vision. Thank you for joining in. Have a good night. Just kill me. Just kill me. Hmm. Now, how did I hit him that one time? And you know what I is? I've even been trying different stuff, but nothing works! There's just no reliable way of dealing with his moves, because he's completely random. Maybe I should change my pins up? But I feel like this pin combo is the strongest. Like, the heal shield isn't phenomenal, but it has saved me a few times. And I don't know if, like, the invulnerability frame extension would be any better, because I'm trying to avoid taking damage, not take advantage of taking damage. This is not the Cuphead Smoke Bomb. Why did I think I could dash through? Oh, I thought that would stop his dash. I Okay, I have one simple question for the people who have played this game. When you knock him on the ground and stun him, you get an option basically to either attack him or to heal, him, or to heal yourself. If you heal yourself and don't get a chance to attack him when he's on the ground, does that mean you don't actually deal any damage to him and it, it just extends the fight? Do you have to attack him while he is knocked out in order to deal real damage to him to end the fight? Or can you beat the fight without ever damaging him when he's on the ground? That's the only I just that's the only thing I want to know. Cause that will play a role. If I can just always heal while he's on the ground, then that will help out. But if I actually have to attack him when he's on the ground in order to end the fight, I wanna know that. And I think, I think that's something that's been the case for a lot of the boss fights, where you can knock him down. Because it, it's felt like if I don't attack him, then the fight just keeps going and going and going. But healing... All damage to him is the same. Okay, okay. That's good. Then I can take more opportunities to heal when he's on the ground. Thank you. 
That gives me new resolve. Knockback from hitting the guys. Knock me back into. I hate it when he does that. Darn it. Ugh. I hate that you can't do anything after you're healing. And when I say you can't do it, I mean like literally anything. You can't move, can't jump, can't dash, can't attack. Nothing. Oh. Okay. The, the fact that I can heal in between his... Stuns, though. That is definitely helping. So I feel rejuvenated. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I hit him out of his stagger with the soul combo.
Oh god, I hate that stupid jump attack that can hit you from anywhere and there's nothing you can do about it. If he just does that attack enough times, he will kill you because there's no way to dodge it. Because it just literally seems like it homes in on wherever you are. Darn, that was a cl that was a good attempt too. play completely differently in this fight compared to like any other fight in any other game. In every in every game similar to this, I always keep my eyes on my player character. This is like the only fight I've ever faced where the only way to like survive is to keep your eyes on the boss at all times, not you. If you keep an eye on your character, like you're going to die instantly. You have to keep your eyes on the boss at all times just to see what he's doing and hope that you can see the orange guys who blend in with the background out of the corner of your eye. I'm not sure if I've played any of that genre. Knock him to the side of the course. That just runs counterintuitive to like everything I know about games though. You always keep your eye on your character, because that's the one you're controlling. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard about Toho. Which I always want to pronounce as Tahu. But I know that's a bionicle. Positive point, I very rarely run out of will in this fight, because A, I have the thing that gives me extra will when I attack, and B, there are a bunch of enemies that you're just constantly attacking in here to refill. That and the music are the only things this boss fight have going for it. Stop being annoying game and spawning the guys right above me when I'm healing. It, you always do that. They could spawn anywhere in the room, but you always spawn them above my head when I'm healing. I'm also noticing anytime I heal, he always does the jump dash down attack. Well, I tried for flash and it did nothing. 
I mean, I was I was gaining hope when I learned I could heal while he's stunned, but I'm losing hope because every time I try that, the game spawns a jelly guy right on my head, and he hits me before I can finish healing. Which, even with the shield, I mean, still doesn't help because I still can't heal. Also, because I have no idea how long this fight is going on for. For all I know, I'm not even a hundredth of the way through the fight. I hate you. It's not like the dive really helps in this fight, though. It's very slow, and the the shoot your soul attack definitely seems to be more effective because you can hit him like three times with that in a single go. I don't know how they program the AI to just instinctively always know where you're going to be on the floor to have him land there. So I guess you can make the argument it is genius programming, but it makes for a very unenjoyable boss fight experience. And as we all know, video games are all about having fun. kind of always anticipate he's going to jump to where I'm moving, so now I'm basically trying to move in a direction, and when he jumps, then instantly move in the opposite direction, in the hopes that that'll trick him and the AI. It's not quite been two hours, because we did have technical difficulties at the beginning, and I started a little late. That's fine. I knew I wasn't going to win as soon as he hit me like four times in a row.
he wouldn't let me heal. No matter where I went, there was always free stupid ghosts on my tail, I couldn't heal. Yeah, it's not fair. This guy gets an unlimited amount of guys to help, and he's a way higher level than me. Like, I should get eight of my closest buddies to help me out, too. Just to even the odds a little bit. Darn, I really thought that last attempt was going to be the one. So, okay, some attempts, he just hits you 50 times in a row, and it feels like there's nothing you can do about it. I know his pattern, but his pattern is impossible to dodge 100% of the time, because you can't have re reaction times that fast. When he jumps, you, you just... So, like, for example, let's say you're kind of in a corner and he's right next to you. What do you do? Do you try to jump over him? Well, if he decides to jump too, then guess what? You get a hit. Do you ho wait for him to jump? Well, psych, he just dashed, so now you get hit as well. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, you could get hit by him. There's no 100% way out of it. And because this guy has 800 billion trillion HP, you basically just have to get ridiculously lucky for the entire fight in order to win. That's what I'm getting out of it. Because keep in mind, I've upgraded my nail twice, and he has this much, much HP. I think from now on, anytime he jumps, if at all possible, I'm gonna dash towards him. Because it feels like when he jumps, he jumps closer or farther away from you than where you're currently standing. Yeah, so like right there. He jumped and I dashed away from him and he landed on top of my head. And he did it again. Yes, I do. By the way, Apollo Justice is... The final uploads are going up this week. Last video will be uploaded on Friday. So, yep, I, I know I know when I'm playing afterwards. But it's a secret. I don't advertise when I'm playing to everybody. It's always a surprise. I was actually planning on uh, editing some of the next Let's Plays videos. Uh after stream today, but that's not gonna happen. After stream today, I'm eating a bowl of ice cream and I'm going to freaking bed! Just, just take me, Def. Just take me. Imagine getting, like I said, imagine trying to beat this guy with no nail upgrades, no HP upgrades, no will upgrade, nothing. Because I know there are lunatics out there who do that. If anybody in Twitch chat is one of those lunatics, know that I mean it all in good fun. But seriously, if you can beat this guy with minimum equipment, then you kind of are a bit of a lunatic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Cause yeah, I feel... I feel like any time he jumps and I dash away from him, there's like a 50% chance at least that he'll jump on top of me. Why can't he do the, the upward sword swiping attack more? That one's easy to dodge. That one, yeah. Why can't he do that attack more? That's like by far his easiest move to deal with. But no, he spams ground dash, which you can't dodge. Because if you jump over it, it still hits you. <laughs> yes, we're still at this, because this boss is like the most unfair feint I've ever seen. That's why. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going and I'm going there really fast. All right. Did you guys see that? It spawned the same orange guy in the same spot over and over again just to hit me. The boss is stupid as well, though. It's true. I made a vow. I'm not ending the stream until I either am literally forced to by my job or until we beat this guy. Problem... Seems like you have to dash towards him if he jumps, but away from him if he dashes. And you get, like, an eighteenth of a second to figure out which move he's doing. All the people in Dirt Mouth are just like, man, where's Hollow Knight? I haven't seen him around lately. It's like, <laughs> he normally comes by here once every stream to buy some new stuff. Which, I don't know where he's been. Look, I'm sorry I killed your kin, okay? But actually I'm not because he attacked me first. It was justified self-defense. If only I could trap him in a corner and he would just keep doing that whoosh, 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 I'd move over and over again. That would make the fight a lot more manageable. Is it hard-coded in his AI to always do the jump lunge if you are healing? I swear he has always done it. Oh look! He did it freaking again! Oh look! He 
did it again. I literally think it's hard-coded in his AI. If you heal, he will always do that move. Let's try it again. That has that is hard coded in his AI. He always does that move. Normally I would say, hey, I figured out how to manipulate his AI. Except that won't work. Because guess what? If if he does the jump and then you you can't move because you've been healing. So I can't even just use that to lure him to keep using that move over and over again. Because he'll hit me every single time he does that. Because for some reason, the game developer said you shouldn't be allowed to move for five seconds after you heal. I just kill me. There might be more people. They might just be lurking. They may have run out of things to say like I have. Th th that is true. I am definitely a stubborn individual. No doubt about that. What's the line from Mary Poppins? Extremely stubborn and suspicious. That That's me to a T. Honestly, at this point, it's personal. This boss was, like, specifically designed to irk me as much as possible. Besides, do you know how, how good it's going to feel to put this guy down in the ground? I mean, like, the feeling I'm going to get from beating this guy is going to be better than the feeling of, like, I don't know, eating a new pack of peanut m &Ms. It's like the best feeling in the world. I don't think there's another feeling in the world that could describe that other than eating peanut m &Ms. Hey, peanut m &Ms are legit. They're so much better than regular m &Ms. I hate the ricochet off of these attacks. I have to jump up and hit an enemy that's in my way, and then it makes me plummet down into the ground right on top of him. But if I don't attack him, then I take damage from that guy. Eating a white a uh, white chocolate Terry's chocolate orange. Mmm, see, here's the thing. Terry's chocolate orange is no doubt a high-quality product. I'm not a huge fan of the chocolate and the orange together. Also, white chocolate's not even real chocolate. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not chocolate. Let's let's stop pretending. It's vanilla that's just like, I want to be chocolate. <laughs> I want to be part of the cool club.
spawning guys right in the worst areas. Oh yeah, Shaggy, when Shaggy streams, he streams late. Like, he streams long after I normally go to bed. Wait, he didn't actually do the slam attack right after I healed, so it's not hard. Wow. So, he just happened to do it 16 times in a row that uh, one time. Curse you for always being annoying. You know what? This makes up for the week we took off. You get an extra long stream filled with pain. Because it's my fault the internet went out. Still not the most frustrating boss I've ever pl uh, played against, though. I'm just numb to it now. I'm, t I'm too numb to get frustrated anymore. I just want it to end.
I, it's his jump. I, no matter how many times I play, I cannot get a pattern down to avoid his jumps. They're too random. No matter what he does, if I, no matter where I dash, no matter where I jump, he can still catch me up. So the weird thing is, he doesn't get any harder as the fight goes on. He doesn't get any new moves. His, his, like, he, every time I knock him down, it's not like he gets more difficult. It's literally just his default phase is so unbelievably difficult that it takes forever. I swear, when this is over... When I beat this guy, I'm going to look up a video on YouTube of someone actually being able to consistently do him and see if, like, there's just some massive pattern that I missed out on or something. I can't believe I actually dashed out of there in time. I swear, I always get so far in the fight, then he does an unfair jump on your head that you can't dodge. <laughs> you, you know what, Proxima? If you want to make a video showcasing how to consistently beat this guy without needing the brain of a supercomputer, I will watch it. No question. Journey. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I don't want spoilers. You appeared out of nowhere in a hurry just to hit me. They're okay, you can't use new strats. Wolf, we'll make sure you die if you do that. I wonder if there's a soul in the world that fought this boss for the first time and was like, yes, this is a good boss. This is peak design. I had so much fun playing this fight. I also want to point out that it was... It, the game definitely seemed to be indicating that this was the second phase of the boss that I fought at the beginning of this stream. <laughs> Beat him with base equipment. Video is tw 16 hours long. That was not what I was supposed to do. Oh look! Every time! That is always what kills me, is he does a stupidly impossibly long jump right on top of me in the blink of an eye. Do I, I wonder if I, when I upload this VOD, do I even bother showing off the whole video, or should I just make a clip show of all of the times he killed me? Knowing me, I don't like editing videos for long periods of time, so I'll probably just, it'll be the full stream. Uh, what was that? He literally was moving while he was stunned. b b, -b bull crap
Enjoy your dinner, Simpsons R Us. Try doofus, you pulled out all the stops, literally all of them, and you still didn't hit me. Was weird. Why didn't this the soul shooting spell knock him back like it did every other time I used it when he was like that? Like that time. I feel like in any situation where I try healing, I either lose HP or only break even. far too often that whenever I heal, I get hit like a frame before the heal would go off.
not mean to shoot my soul out of my chest there. I was trying to heal, but my finger slipped. Can you level with me, Proxima? Am I even close to beating this fight? Have I, have I ever even gotten close to beating this fight? Because I swear I've damaged him so, so much, and he just doesn't die. Alright, we'll keep trying then. Oh, oh, I get <laughs> Okay. I didn't know... I didn't know if this guy is... A Literally, like, oh, you like you have to knock him down like twenty times for him to die. I'm like, I've definitely knocked him down like five times before in a fight, but I've never gotten him down to six. So it's like maybe it's like, oh, when he gets knocked down six times, that's it. Honestly, it's literally, it is the freaking orange guys that you have to deal with that really take this fight into the unfair territory. The fight would be brutal, but still doable if it weren't for the orange guys, but because there's an unlimited amount, and they literally have caused me to get hit, like, I can't even count how many times. I would have beaten this fight by now long ago if it weren't for the stupid orange guys. Not, no question. They just, they just never stop spawning, prevent you from healing, knock you into his attacks, and for some reason, your sword just always seems to miss them at crucial moments. Like, they don't seem like much, but oh my gosh. With Because you get knocked back every time you hit one, that royally screws you over at times. Where it's like, wow, if, that, if an orange guy hadn't literally just quote-unquote, randomly spawned right in my way, I would have been able to dodge him. But because he randomly spawned in the middle of the way and I have to take him out, the ricochet is going to knock me back into the main guy's attack. Oh, stream died. That's okay, I'm probably gonna die anyways.
I am recording this two days later after the uh, stream where I tried to beat this stupid boss. I'm going to try him a couple more times off stream just to see if I can beat him before I have to stream again tonight. I have a little less than an hour to try to beat him. If I can beat him, then awesome. Otherwise, I'm putting him off till later. So that's how it's going to go. <laughs> I am out of practice, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very much out of practice. Why didn't I swing the sword to the right? I hate it how he can hit you above his head when he does the dash. Yeah, like, I was above him and he still hit me. What the heck? It's gonna take me a couple of tries to get back into the groove of it. He always jumps to where you are going to be.
If he does his dash while you are dashing, then you will get hit by it. It's very annoying. Uh, don't go on it. Why can I not hit the guy when he's right above me? I... Ah, there is way too much end lag after you are casting a spell. It's, it's literally like five whole seconds that you can't do anything. I know it, it's at least one full second. Duck on it. Missed the input. And that time, there was literally zero opportunity for me to heal, because either the guys appeared right on top of me, or for some reason, while he was stunned, he was moving towards me. Which definitely seems like a glitch. I love it when your sword just doesn't make contact with the thing that you're literally hitting. Just end it.
This fight's going a lot better. I don't want to get too cocky, because I know he can just pull out some bullcrap stuff out of nowhere. Had to risk it. Oh my gosh! Yes! Burn in hell. One of the worst fights I've ever experienced in any video game ever. Good riddance.